welcome. With the two modules of today I wanted to do something different and that is to focus attention on a part of the female body that is considered, after good reason, to be most definitely important. The hips. But let's see what science says about it. Several studies conducted on a sample of men, of various ethnicities and with an age between 24 and 60 years, have brought to light the fact that women with wide hips are considered much more attractive than those women who have hips just pronounced. On a psychological level, this data is linked to the fact that women in the first group, with large hips, are considered by men to be more capable of procreating, so it is a mere question of fertility. But not only that, this type of women are also considered good mothers. Two factors that at an unconscious level push men to take a greater interest in women who are generally more curvilinear. And I thought it was a question of sensuality and blah blah blah. At the base of everything, as often happens, there is a constant. And that is that despite being beings believed to be evolved, what generates certain behaviors is always only the primordial instinct that 20,000 years of civilization have not been able to mitigate. So evolved but still animals. In this video I show you several shots of these two modules that I remind you are completely natural, while they are portrayed in a bikini, this to show you another aspect too. With a tiny structure and a normal height, today's first model has a respectable hourglass shape. Her shoulder width greatly reduces the downward imbalance, characteristic of Latin women. very feminine and at times decidedly provocative style facilitated by the fact that she has small sizes and therefore she can have fun playing with combinations and colors as she prefers best even with transparencies that are very beautiful. Accessories are perfectly combined and among these these handbags stand out, 
so small that in my opinion not even a cell phone fits inside. But we know that sometimes the reasons of fashion are at the expense of those of practicality. A complete and varied style for her who remains one of the models with the most beautiful hips I've ever seen. The second model of today is a professional in the world of plus size and this is highlighted in many shots both for the poses but also for the chosen locations. The hand of the professional is always recognized. She too has two huge and very high hips, beyond the longitudinal line of the navel. A very special and more unique than rare feature for an African American woman. short video I slowed down the frames to let you notice the goodness of the shapes of this model. The natural hips are characterized by a very precise line, it is therefore possible to recognize them on sight, just like in these images with this fitted dress. The hips start in the upper part at the height of the waist and widen in the midline where a short indentation begins and then widen again in the final part. This is what natural hips are like and not those basketballs that are increasingly seen. It must also be said that in some cases, quite rare, the rounded hips are natural but the result of a particular physical constitution while in other cases they are the result of a conspicuous work in the gym that tends to level and fill that natural recess. Now you know how to recognize two real hips the next time you meet a woman that interests you.
also for her a varied style despite her having quite important sizes compared to the previous model, not to mention that Leslie is much taller. <laughs> Tending towards elegance for a remarkable series of shots that belong to photo shoots but also moments of everyday life. For me she is and remains one of the most beautiful women on the planet and you, what do you think? And we have reached the end of this video, a special thanks to those of you who have made it this far and of course I just have to say goodbye and refer you to the next video. Be good. I'm <laughs> sorry.